Now, now is the governor removal. I've never done a governor removal before. I'm pretty sure it's straightforward. Take the side of the crankcase off, drain the oil, obviously, and uh, find the plastic gear inside, yank that, make sure there's no holes in your crankcase, and maybe redo some throttle linkage. We're going to find out. So despite draining the oil, I uh, should have drained it on an angle, <laughs> an angle that way because when I pulled the crankcase off, the rest of the oil everywhere, so a little bit of a mess. So on this one, here's our paddle over here, and I plan to leave this because with the gear removed, I'll still use this linkage for throttle control, so I don't believe I need to yank that gasket looks to be okay I mangled it just a little bit with a screwdriver pop in the crankcase what I'm gonna try and do though is can I yank that governor gear without taking the motor off the cart itself that's what I'm gonna try and do It came off pretty easy, just a little sideways pressure. There it goes. Probably didn't even in sideways. I should have been straight out. So what I'm looking for is, I always hear that there's C-clips down in here. There's no C-clip in here. I am going to find out if that press-in pin is going to want to come out, though. Because if that rattles loose, that would be a bad, bad day. That is not moving. Not moving at all. That could be fine. I have no play in that. Uh, just so you can see here, the gear was sitting on here and I was able literally just to pull it off. No C-clips or anything behind there, just some washers. This guy here, I put the vice grips on, wanted to see if this guy was going to come out. It's not. So, I think the governor is effectively removed on this fella. I'm going to put it back together, put oil in it, and see. Something else I noticed though is I thought I secured that bolt all the way down. Why is that coming up? tell you so I get all the screws in here I notice I'm missing a screw 
but I didn't look before I took them all out to know if I started with all of the screws. One of the downfalls of working on pine needles, but I don't have one down in here. Everywhere else has a screw. and didn't go back together. This might be why everything was banging. There's a mark now lined up with this arrow here, which means when this lobe is down, the lobe down here is down so they don't smack. I'm not 100% sure that's what it is, but I'm going to try and put the case on, slowly turn it over. If it rotates through, we'll add oil. We'll try it again. All right, try two. good put it on a block so it doesn't run away if I've done something wrong
what I'm fighting here is a way to get the throttle from here to return to idle when I come off. I need some kind of a spring, something pulling this closed. So I wonder if I can use some of this, what is this, maybe a 14.4? Maybe that'll be enough. Not at least enough to prove the process. So throttle cable pulls. Pulls open. This linkage is fine, but I need a return. I need a spring to yank this back. And I don't have places to anchor a spring. I wonder about running a spring from there to there. Ugh. That may be it though. Let me let me see. Exhaust is warm. Let's see what a small zip tie might be able to do. Boys and girls, look at that. Fasten the spring to the heat shield, back to the throttle, and if I activate this, pulling it back. I'm gonna give that a try. one's choke on or off. That is so much faster. Oh yeah. 